let's make some leaves. So this is a very quick way to make some nice looking uh, leaves or the backgrounds of your projects. So with the images as planes add-on enabled, I'm going to go down to import and import images as planes. I'm going to use this uh, image of leaves here that has a transparent background and I'm going to import it. So now if we go to uh, render view, uh, you can see that the background is already gone. Great. But it still looks a little bit weird. So let's fix up the texture right now. I'm going to drag this texture down into the uh, normal and I'm going to add in a bump map here. Um, I'm going to change this over to the height and I'm going to take down the strength. So that way there's just a little bit of bumpiness to it. And I think that looks pretty good right there. I'm going to plug uh, the uh, texture into the specular here. That looks much better already. And I think I'm going to turn down the roughness just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to make the leaves a little bit see-through. So I'm going to add in a mix shader. And then I'm going to add in a transparent shader. And I'm going to use our texture as the uh, value factor between the two. All right. So if you go around to the back, you can see that they're completely see-through. And I think that's just too much. So I'm going to plug this texture into the transparent. And now the light only bleeds through just a little bit. Awesome. I want to give these leaves a little bit more of a lip so that they can kind of hang off edges like here. So back in edit mode, I am going to drag this whole thing down so that the top of the leaves is barely at the uh, origin point here. And uh, I'm going to add in a loop cut and drag that up to the uh, origin so that way it's about level. And I'm going to take this top edge and just slide it down and back a little bit. And I'm going to just bevel this new edge here. And now there's a little bit more of a lip. I think that looks pretty good right there. So I'm going to select this whole thing and I'm going to drag it forward. So the origin point is right at the top. Perfect. I'm going to shade it smooth and it's good to go. As kind of a last note, there's way better ways to do this. Uh, this is just a very simple way and it's not very taxing on the system. So I strongly advise, especially for backgrounds. Anyways, I'll see you later. Bye.